he was huge. Oh, and I mean huge. Hello my sugar bingo bingers, welcome back to my channel. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, be sure to do so right now. It is absolutely free. And if you want us to continue growing and flourishing, please do not skip the ads. Now your good sis is well traveled, if she can not say so herself. But I haven't gotten the opportunity to explore South Africa as much as I would like to. So once Limana a day, I decided, let me explore KZN because I am from KZN. So I want to explore my province at large. So I decided to travel to Drakensburg. Now two of my homegirls already stay there. So they were like, join me. You are sorted accommodation wise. We're going to be your tour guides and we're going to show you around. We'll take you to places you only see on TV. If we funa bumnandi, we know exactly where to take you. If we funa liquor, we know exactly where to take you. If we funa abafaina, we know exactly where to go. And I was like, Abafaina, say no more. Wherever Gukona Kona, Abafana, wherever they are, the boysons, toysons, noisons, because of Amnandimos. And I'm looking for a good time. I'm only here for a good time, not a long time. So show me where the boys reside. And they were like, We got you, Chomi. So I'm going to name my two homegirls sweetheart because the one was really a sweetheart. And I'm going to name the other one Songbird because she can sing. I mean, my girl can sing, okay? Heavy on them pipes. Mean with the pipes. You feel me? So they take me to this really dope Shisanyama. It was beautiful. Inyamaya corner. I can taste it right now. So we ordered our drinks. We ordered meat. The vibe was amazing now bear in mind that i'm the new girl right i'm the tourist here so everybody's looking at me like who's that who is it who is it who is it and i'm like it's me you know so yes feel an army because i mean when i leo new energy a fresh and a vibe and a morocco and a marble and everybody's just like but bear in mind, baby girl, they are just intrigued and fascinated by that newness, by that freshness, by that refreshing vibe that you bring to the mix. Remember this, books before boys because boys bring babies. And this is for my fellas. Fellas, focus. Focus. Understand, Uti, we are the girls. Okay, we are the gals. We've got our own. We are bosses. Simulise itafula letu ngokwetu because we can afford ourselves, our lifestyles, and whatever it is we need and want. So we don't need anybody. Tina Sizo enjoy a vibe while we scout nyana, if you know what I mean. And of course, it didn't even take three seconds. Nabo brothers. I bo nabo brother. Masbabo nise. So my homegirls and I are chatting away, the drinks are flowing, the vibe is on point. This group of fine young men approaches us. They come to our table and they greet us. So we greet them back. You can't look desperate. So they were working really hard to capture our attention so we finally gave it to them and I was just like you hello brothers so we let them join us we're chit chatting away getting to know each other they order some more they order some more food and we're like oh because I'm not the more the merrier we have the time of our lives um, Santuzo, don't even get me started because if you know me, you know. So we spent the entire night with them up until Boma 4 a.m. in the morning because that's how popping that Shisanyama was. But also their company was beautiful. It was refreshing. Nothing was forced. Everything was flowing. The energy was gelling. 
kwa kuroka. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna make them seem like bad guys because they really weren't. Or so it seemed. Remember in the very beginning, everybody's trying to sell themselves. Everybody's a saint. Everybody's an angel. Everybody's amazing. Everybody's a good boy, a good girl. We don't have a dirty past. We'd never hurt the next person. Hey, Gandhi. So the sun is about to rise, so we tell the gents, all right, guys, we've had a blast, but we need to go back home. We need to rest. We have plans for later on today. So, and they totally understood. They were very respectful. They were very polite, and we said our goodbyes. No numbers were exchanged. Nobody tried to force anything on anyone. We parted ways um, Nandi. But before we actually parted ways, my guy, let's call my guy is Konza Konza because he was huge. Oh, and I mean huge. It's Gora. Yo, it's a Konza Konza. Send daughter. Yo, it's a Zakela. Send daughter. Woo. Sing it per se. Pezzalo. Emma Fini, give on his Zulu. Tete Zilim City. Tere, 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 Oh my gosh, he was a fine. I mean it when I say he was fine. And what I loved about his vibe is that he was very chilled, very laid back. I don't like guys who are forward, who are all over the place, who talk too much. There's a time and place for everything. You know? And I loved that about him. He wasn't boring. He was actually a lot of fun. There was this mystery to him. And I love that. I love having to pull back layers of you you know as much as that's important i mean i've learned how important that is now but back then which was a couple of years ago yeah it was a couple of years ago i was still single mind you back then i thought it was really cool when a person was really mysterious and held back certain information only to find a ah ganti people hold back your information and jenna and jenna uh-uh uh-uh-uh, we don't play that. Now we make sure we get all the info from the jump. With that said, let's call my man Uskonza Konza. So Uskonza Konza says to me, you know, Zanente, I'd like to see you again tomorrow. So, Simiseganjan, oh, so smooth with it. Manz is in it, you know what I mean? So I'm like, um, ooh, I wanted to explore the place. But yeah, if you want to see me, I mean, we can make things happen. Or you can show me around. You know, I got my girls with me. You can come with your gents and, you know, we can make it do what it does. And he's like, I got you. If you want somebody to show you around, I'm the man. You guys will be in good hands. Mani nami. And I was like, a man who knows himself, a man on a situnzi. I mean, obviously, I am taken by now. So I'm like, hell to the yeah. To the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? He's a He's like around 10 p.m. So I'm going to give him a of beans because I don't want a whole lot of eyes and satellites and a whole lot of people all up in our grill. Red flag number one. I thought it was cool because you know, but he was like, no, I just, I don't want the attention, you know, so I you know, but he was like, no, I just, I don't want the attention, you know, so and I was like, cool, I mean, that's what I'm here for, sharp, we part ways, my girls and I get home and we're reminiscing about everything that went down, we were so happy i remember my girls telling me you guys should actually just be an item because i mean you were actually made for each other did you see how good you looked together and i was like oh we are okay in a band i mean things i'm using the fresh now we about well we fresh but you know and they're like i oh it's like once you feel and this is always a show with success oh yeah rock as you know and i'm not 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 i'm
Little did I know that my homegirl Songbird was busy snapping away, taking pictures of Minanos Konza Konza while we were busy vibing. So she shows me those pictures and she says, Yazin Zanet ni ya roka nos konza konza mind you i know this guy he's a baller this guy unesonzi we are such a unemali he's a hurt man if you want a manly man this is your guy and klomegi sison gaktanda yikfunelo use godwa go for him so 9 p.m strikes we're getting ready i see sa bye b Hair done, nails now, earth line dead. See a roca, see a tonza from head to toe. I kid you not. We head out at 10 p.m. We get there because it was fairly close to our place. So we get there around 10 15. When we got there, we realized that Skonza Konza and his gents had not arrived yet. So we got ourselves a table, we bought ourselves some booze, we chilled, we were chatting away, and of course, again a group of guys approaches us i mean we're young single ladies they want to join us so why not they join us we chat away we have the time of our lives right until don 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 Konza rocks up with his gents in his leather jacket looking all magnificent and he approaches our table avela fike kumina kakhulumlutho akakhulumlutho hlinile imambane avela ngithi labs he sticks his tongue down my throat mind you i'm sitting next to this other guy so it looks quite suspicious but i mean I'm single, so ain't nothing going on, ain't nothing wrong. I'm chilling and you're late. Red flag number two, you are late. So, What's Shoved his tongue down my throat and I was like, hmm. I love a man who marks his territory and who isn't afraid of what other people think or say or do because I got moon I got moved, and you could see this guy knows he's a big boss. This guy knows he is respected. You're gonna put some respect on his name, or he'll make you. You should have seen the look on everyone's face, not just the gents that we were chilling with, but everybody who occupied that space. Everyone was just like, gong, 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 gong. now I'm looking at everyone, I'm like, why is everybody so freaked out? Gandhi, oh, some danger in Lorna. How dangerous is this guy? How much of a big boy is this guy? What's cooking oil? So whilst Konza Konza was busy tonguing me down, I saw the other gents slowly get up and run away literally they ran away and i was like mm, this guy is a big deal and i'm a big story so this is gonna work but i must mention that that kiss tasted like booty booty i swear guys that guy before he came there <laughs> i swear i kid you not why because who tastes like that whose lips whose mouth whose tongue tastes like that and why are you late i definitely believe that he was busy slurping on some other chick's booty before he came to me so after that whole the bold and the beautiful slash ukis onugizina scene skonza konza suggests that we go to his friend's place and i'm like why i thought we were meeting here and spending the night here just as we did last night and he says no i'm like oh so you gangster so you're that dangerous all right i like it stop it i really like it <laughs> and honestly the tension there was as thick as i am imagine that 
So we bounced to his friend's place, which happened to be a beautiful mansion. We chilled outside for Njeama vibe purposes because it was also really hot and we just wanted to create that whole outdoorsy feel. Again, we had a fantastic time. Now remember, there are three gents and there are three ladies. Zanentle has her skonza konza. Songbird is booed up with Anyanyas Mate, while Sweetheart is booed up with Mr. DJ. Hey, 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 Mr. DJ. You will understand why these names are so appropriate and fitting for these guys as the story continues. So we've been here for a minute, and I mean, we've been drinking the whole time. So at some point, we're gonna need the loo. And I happen to be the first to open that tap. So I tell Skonza Konza, I need the bathroom. And he's like, sure, let me walk you there. So we go. I do my thing. And when I'm about to exit, when I'm about to exit, mind you, he pushes me back in and tries to kiss me again. And I'm like, no, no. Because no You know, I don't want you to do that. Ease up. Back up off me. And he's like, ah, come on, Zanele. I know you're feeling me as much as I'm feeling you. I know you want me as badly as I want you. And I'm like, first of all, Zanele. Who the hell is Zanele? Nickname is Zanny, but my name ain't Zanele. Bish. No offense to O Zanele, the most important person in my life is Uzanele. I absolutely love you, but get my name right or leave me alone. My name is Zanele. Secondly, Angu Fun Ukiswako Onuga Izinga. And he's like, I bo kunutin manja mau kiswa manugi zin in daba manja kun manja no kun manja. I'm like, in kun manja. You were late. O figure la pa uzo spaza misa uzo kozi sin sile no lova gatibe sali sile we na upi uzo kota na nindu. Uche unfu selu lim besu selu gusa sambi senda oni besu ngaseli lugu yagion. We comply. Senza inte tandwa we na zeng figure la ufunu zong fuka na same lim lolo nugi ndu nu loga tu ikota njongo bu figure late it mean. And he's like, I bo angas and cut and do no mina was what I cut while I want to um zoo mina it is what mina ngam being as in non science um pe as the mina um pe gu chakin lang is in minu pe as the mina ang um ang pe ngatu ses tu tu tuin a u zoo en zuma tanda lang te ang phone. Now he gets forceful. Now he gets aggressive, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this guy will call him sub. Such um shaba onk. Even his friends are like his lap dogs licking his booty the whole time. My it ashalala zake ngi yini gem na wa vila ngit kri upeling am manj. Ya bon thing show. But I'm like, no, I'm going to spend a joel alone. A joel alone. Uchoela futumundu anga mazi. O alang sal minala. Angieno alana minangi pleges nes na wow combined. Agangazi what I'm capable of. Nisubu sunam. Shoulders back, I puff up my chest and I'm like, yo, I said no. I'm busy fighting this battle in this particular bathroom. Little did I know that Songbird and Anyanyas Mate are at it in the next bathroom. Sweetheart as well as Mr. DJ are also at it in the other bathroom. Remember, this is a mansion. So it has multiple rooms, multiple bathrooms, and they're all far apart. So Meanwhile, Anyanyas Mate is busy shoving his tongue down Songbird's throat. Yo, songbird, she's trying to fight, but she's teeny weeny and Anyanyas Mate is Anyanyas Mate. You feel me? So he's busy just slurping away at her mouth, her tongue, her throat, her guts, her esophagus, everything. His saliva was all over her mouth, her lips, her nose, her eye, her hair, her neck. She was disgusted. Uti here, oh, it ain't funu we sanza. His stinking saliva is all over the show. I'm trying to stop him and he's like, nah, you're going to give me what I want and don't act like you don't want it. Don't act like you're not enjoying this. Uti, enjoying this? 
Jongo bung nuksela nga mata nugi zima nawe. Ufana nunga nako. How do you expect me to enjoy this? I'm phony. I'm saying no. No means no. Get that through your thick skull. Nangu sweetheart is busy fighting with Mr. DJ because Mr. DJ is busy fighting with her bointies. Mr. DJ is busy going at it, DJing her clit. Sweetheart is like, no, dude, you are hurting me. That is not how it is done. Be gentle, Mr. DJ on the ones and twos. Ticky, ticky, bomb, ticky, 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 bomb on the clit. Sweetheart scream saved the night because those guys were getting super aggressive and you could tell that they were not taking no for an answer. But Sweetheart says, I could not bear it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. He was DJing my clit and it was painful. It was on fire. So I had to scream. So she screamed and we all just ran out and we're like, hey, but when's, it done? when's it done? What's going on? What's going on? So Sweetheart was like, no guys, this is not how you treat women. If I say no, I mean it. If I say this is painful, stop it. Do it this way. Listen to me. Respect me or else you're not going to get what you want and if you're going to force yourself then we're going to have a problem now sweetheart is the quiet type but she can also get very feisty and i love that about her but also she was older than everybody there so she was like our big sis and she was like no yazin ninga straight pilagab what's this lungi let's lega nani si enjoy company and ninga straight gabi ninga sati as i'm a basics we have our own we are bosses we just enjoyed your company we're not desperate for your attention your drinks and we're definitely not desperate for your d's so stop what you're doing before it gets out of hand and you won't like that trust me so now I'm going to listen to Aziz and Pelamanji because I have backup now. So I'm like, man, I'm going to get a lot of shit. 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 I'm going to get a lot of Yo, the gents ease up and they're like, okay, guys, no, we, we hear you. We thought we were on the same page. Trying to get her word in so the gents ease up and they're like, sorry, ladies, we truly do apologize for overstepping any boundaries. How can we fix the situation? And we're like, just take us home. Just take us home. A son phone, a son phone, you know, spoon some kind of man. Anything can happen here. We're take our popcorn air to Lana, but we're just like, Yazin, we're gonna take our chances, and God and our mighty ancestors will guide us and protect us. We will all make it out of this alive. And that's exactly what happened. Thank God. Dibulele Nezinyanya Zami, because it could have ended so badly. So, ladies, as I always tell you, please be careful it is no use trusting strangers with your life and things are just getting worse by the day as we evolve people have lost their marbles fellas no means no